Welcome to our virtual law legal analysis series. In today's episode, we will discuss the purpose, salient features, advantages, issues and implementations of Republic Act number 11313. Let's dive right into it. Republic Act number 11313, also known as the Safe Spaces Act, is a law that prohibits gender-based sexual harassment in public spaces, educational or training institutions, workplaces, and online spaces. It was signed into law by President Rodrigo Duterte on April 17, 2019. The purpose of the Safe Spaces Act is to create a safe and enabling environment for all people. Regardless of their gender, in all public spaces, educational or training institutions, workplaces, and online spaces. It aims to prevent and address gender-based sexual harassment, and to protect the rights of victims of such harassment. The salient features of the Safe Spaces Act include. It defines gender-based sexual harassment as any unwanted or uninvited sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, and other verbal or physical conduct of a sexual nature. It covers all forms of gender-based sexual harassment, including street harassment, online harassment, and harassment in the workplace and educational or training institutions. It provides for the establishment of a zero-tolerance policy against gender-based sexual harassment in all public spaces, educational or training institutions, workplaces, and online spaces. It mandates the creation of a safe and enabling environment for victims of gender-based sexual harassment, including the provision of counseling and support services. It provides for the imposition of penalties for acts of gender-based sexual harassment, including imprisonment and fines. The advantages of the Safe Spaces Act include It provides a legal framework for the prevention and addressing of gender-based sexual harassment. It protects the rights of victims of gender-based sexual harassment. It creates a safe and enabling environment for all people, regardless of their gender. The issues and challenges in the implementation of the Safe Spaces Act include Lack of awareness of the law among the public Lack of resources and support services for victims of gender-based sexual harassment Lack of political will to implement the law effectively Despite these challenges, the Safe Spaces Act is a landmark law that has the potential to make a significant difference in the lives of women and girls in the Philippines. It is important to continue to raise awareness of the law and to advocate for its full and effective implementation. Here are some ways to help implement the Safe Spaces Act. Educate yourself and others about the law. Report cases of gender-based sexual harassment to the authorities. Support organizations that are working to prevent and address gender-based sexual harassment. Advocate for the full and effective implementation of the law. By working together, we can create a safe and enabling environment for all people, regardless of their gender. That's all for this episode. What do you think about the topic? Feel free to comment and suggest what topic you want us to discuss on the next video. Stay tuned for more legal insights in our future episode. Remember, understanding Landmark Case helps us comprehend the intricacies of our legal system. See you next time. Like and subscribe.